today we are starting a unit on public speaking and unfortunately the problem with being a teacher is that you're supposed to be an expert but I am not an expert at public speaking however there are a few things that we can practice and work on together the topic today is using filler words such as um uh, pausing things like that. If you listen to me talk, I often say um a lot, and unfortunately we often don't even realize that we're doing that. I have this little video about Natalie, Port Natalie Portman that does an excellent job of pointing out why you should try to avoid uh, using filler words. This is insane. Um, 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 uh, um, um, I want to thank my. Old Kostritsky's and Thank you so much. I think Natalie Portman attends Harvard, so apparently more people than just me have a hard time paying attention to when they say, uh, if you listen to the radio a lot of times, you'll hear people uh, during interviews use um, a lot. So we're going to do an exercise to try to avoid using filler words, and how this is going to go is the sub, I'm not sure who that is, but whoever is the teacher today is going to call up individual students and everybody in the class that's uh, present today is going to have a chance to do this. So the teacher is going to call up each student and give them a speech topic. It's going to be at random, you don't get to choose it, and you just get to try to speak on that topic for as long as you can until you say um or uh or a word like that that is kind of a filler word um, when you're trying to think of what to say and I just said uh, right there so I would sit down at this point so um, somebody keep track of time and we're gonna see who can do this the longest without saying um or uh I would probably last about nine seconds one thing to keep in mind while we do this, and this is really, really important, is people are just being called up to talk about a topic, they haven't thought about this, and they're talking about their opinion. So, they may say something that you disagree with, and it's really, really important for us to just respect their opinions and what they're saying. So, rather than arguing with them or kind of booing them or anything like that. We want to encourage them rather dis than discourage them. For example, if Minecraft is on the list and somebody stands up and talks about how Minecraft is a huge waste of time, those of you who love Minecraft, try not to be offended, but just let them speak. Because if you, I don't know, say something that might make them feel stupid or shot down, they may not want to speak again. And that is not the classroom environment that we want to have. So, I know some of you are nervous, but you can do this, and this is the OCS family. So let's love each other, and make sure that we all have a good time, and let's get started. A second skill for public speaking is looking at your audience. One problem that people have is that they're very nervous speaking in front of a group of people. And so I've heard it said that you should look at the clock in the back of the classroom, just look over people's heads, and don't make eye contact with them, and that way you won't be nervous. Well, although that may take away your nervous feelings, it doesn't necessarily enhance the effect that you have in your audience. When you look at your audience in the eye, it helps them, it helps them engage and helps them feel like you are engaged with them, which is just as important as them being engaged with you. So, the next lesson would be make eye contact 
with your audience. So we're going to do another activity right now, which is supposed to help you practice making eye contact with your audience as you speak. So we just practiced not using filler words, and now you're going to practice making eye contact with your audience, and then we're going to combine those two things, and we're going to make eye contact while also trying to avoid filler words. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, the teacher is going to call each one of you up and he or she's going to give you uh, something to speak about. And you need to speak for one minute while intentionally making eye contact with your audience. Now, you shouldn't just look at one person in the eye and just stare at them the whole time. That's uncomfortable and it doesn't help either, that, uh, either the audience as a whole, that person, or you. Um, just have a better uh, speaking and listening relationship. So what we want to do is take turns looking at different points in the audience and kind of scanning the audience. It's really not good to make people feel uncomfortable, but just kind of scan the audience and let them know that you see them and that you are engaged with them. So you're going to stand up, you're going to talk for one minute, one minute and you're going to um, practice this skill of looking around uh, the classroom and looking at different people. Since we only have six people in this class, it might be a good idea to kind of spread out throughout the classroom. So have some people in the middle, have some people on the left side and on the right side. I know that you all like to sit in the back. Um, but go ahead and spread out. Um, the teacher's going to call one of you up and you're going to get a topic and you're going to talk for one minute about that topic. You don't have any advanced knowledge. You don't really know what you're going to talk about. You're just going to start talking for one minute and practice making eye contact. After everybody does this, we will then do it again with a different topic. And this time we're going to again do the thing where uh, you're going to mesh that skill of making eye contact with your audience along with using filler words. And so if you aren't making eye contact or if you're not using filler words, then your time's up and you're going to sit down and the next person's going to stand up. So we're going to see who can... Um, continue making positive eye contact, not just staring at one person, not just like looking randomly around the room, but just kind of having an intentional gaze that is divided up in different parts of the room, while at the same time trying to pay attention to your use of filler words. So let's get started.